you can bring in your old gold and walk away with cash. And that will be held in the middle of October, and it will be held here in the boardroom. Um, there have been people who have brought in small amounts of five items. They walked away with $250 to $5,000 on it. One of our staff members went to a gold party, and that's how they contacted and That's why they brought it to us, saying, we can make our own money because we get 10% of everything that, that is sold. What did the directors finally decide on the assessment district, uh, the special meeting we had tonight? Well, this is a continuation of our uh, public hearing. Uh -huh. And so we opened the floor to public comment right. and uh, waited an appropriate amount of time. There wasn't any uh, public comment. So the decision, uh, the resolution was actually passed for this, but this is the public hearing. Okay. Uh, no one objected, in other no words. No one objected to it, uh -huh. and that's moving forward. All right. And so what does that mean in terms of cash out of pocket for the people that are involved there? Well, Same as last year? Or is it? Uh, there'll be a slight increase. I don't have my numbers right with me, but it's a, a study to evaluate the, uh, uh, the assessment district for lighting and mm -hmm. uh, the landscaping, mm -hmm. and so that those improvements of the community are distributed through throughout those districts. Yeah. And it's a nominal fee just to try to break even, just to, to get the bare cost covered. Johnson, so you're getting the high school started up here at Roseman High. Yes, we're up and running. We are back to school tonight, and we've had a good turnout. How many students do you have in the high school this year, more or less? Uh, right now, we still we, we don't have everybody here, and we're about 800 right now. About 800. Is that uh, higher or lower? That's about 80 students lower than what we we're planning. But it's still early. There's some some students aren't going to show up till after Labor Day. Some students uh, they start trailing in. Mm -hmm. So usually around the first of September, we're, we're pretty close. We'll have a few after Labor Day, but by September one, we usually we usually are pretty close to where we're going to be. Uh huh. Good. And you've got a full complement of teachers now. Yes, signed? We're, we're completely staffed. Completely staffed. We have, yeah, very excited about our our staff here. We started in the gym. Mr. Johnson introduced his staff to the parents and then released them to their classrooms. We okay. spoke to the parents about what we spoke to the kids, about what our expectations are. Okay. And now the parents are going through their student schedule so they know exactly what their day looks like. Uh -huh. We're selling vintage yearbooks for the high school, uh -huh. for the yearbook classroom. And how much are they? They're 20 bucks. 20 bucks and how many years do you go back? I go back to 1979. Have you had a good response? Um, a lot of people are looking at them, and some of them aren't finding their years, but we had a few people buy them. I've got about 70 signed up for the program. Okay. 70, right now it's about 74. I'd be bigger, mm -hmm. but I've got quite a few parents because of the economic situation have moved away. I've got a couple kids who, uh, parents have had to short sell their houses. Oh, yeah. They've had to move away, and they're moving with family. Mm. Um, and... Uh, some of it started like last May. A lot of them were, they, they, they started moving right away. Sure, so. sure, sure. But we'll do, we'll do okay this year. We'll be a little uh -huh. bit smaller. Mm -hmm. But um, kids are all working really hard. Good. Like, as normal. Still starting at 6.45 or? 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning. Bring them yeah. in. Yeah, and then we got after school practice and some Saturday practices a little bit, but we're, we're staying pretty busy. Right. September Fest, um, we'll march down the street for that like we always do. Sure, good. Yeah. Um, now it looks like some of your trophies aren't there. What you said you gave them away to your senior class? The seniors who graduated last year, that was the first set of group. They started with me as a freshman and they left as seniors. Uh huh. So I gave them a choice. I put all the trophies down here that we had won yeah. over the four years. And I let uh -huh. them take whichever trophy, other than a sweepstakes trophy, any trophy that they wanted that meant something to them. And some of them took first, some of them took third, because even though third place trophies, it's something they remembered about their four years. Huh? We're just here to give college information for parents. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh -huh. And sometimes we find that things that are said to the students don't really make it to the parents, or sometimes there's impressions because someone went to school 20, 30 years ago that it's the same. And with the economy the way it is, California's the way it is, they're tightening enrollment. So we're just here to provide some information, how to put your best foot forward when you do apply to, and to increase your chances of getting into the school of your choice. Uh -huh. Do most parents know what to do with their first child to get them into college? 
Or are yeah. they clueless? <laughs> well, we are hoping that they know, but if they don't, we, we are going to provide that information for them. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And um, just let them know that these are the alternative paths that they can take. Or, uh -huh. uh, it doesn't matter what school that they go to, we just want to make sure that they go to school so uh -huh. they can have a uh -huh. wonderful education and, you know, a career. Coach, how are we doing so far with the runners this year? Well, we're doing all right. You know, we, we thought we were going to have some guys that didn't pan out. They uh, either moved away to another school or something like that. But uh -huh. um, you know, we have some returners from last year. Good. And uh, we should be all right. We should be all right. Good. And when is the uh, first game of the season? Our first game is against Boron at Boron on September 3rd. Uh -huh. uh, luckily, this year we get a scrimmage against uh, Golden Valley in oh. Santa Clarita oh, on good. the 27th. When's the first home game? Uh, the week first after? Home, the first home game is the week after against AV. Okay, so, AV. So we get to play AV. Yes. Oh, won't that be nice? Yes, it will. That will be a good game for us. Good. And, and what do you think is the strength of the runners this year? Is it the the O-line or the D-line or the uh, skill players? I think overall our strength of the team will be defense this year. Uh -huh. uh, we, we've tweaked our defense a little, so we should be surprising some people. Uh, offensively, um, uh, it'll be the re a couple of the returners on, on the line. I don't uh -huh. want to say which side, but right. on the line. And then a couple of the backs, uh -huh. which is good. You're coaching the uh, senior division. Yeah, senior Roseman Senior Division. Uh huh. And have you done this before? Yeah, I've been doing this for about uh, 28 years. What uh, is the most important thing you have to teach these boys at this level? Safety. Okay. Uh, like most youth, they like to hold their heads down, and it's the coach's responsibility to make sure that they do everything that is to protect themselves for the safety of the uh, players. And what age level are about these boys? Uh, in this particular group, is from uh, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. And uh, if they're not in the high school. I would say we have maybe close to 100, 100 kids okay. already. Okay. And um, sign-ups don't. We'll take kids all the way up to September 18th is the last day we'll take kids. Oh, how many teams do we have? We have, in our chapter, we have five teams and then we have a cheer squad. So, how old is uh, your young football player? His name's Lewis Austin. He's six years old, so this okay. is his first year. You think it's safe for him to get into football? Actually, I do, but coaching is all depending on it. Uh -huh. As long as they're teaching them the right techniques uh -huh. to help keep them safe. So. Uh huh. But my husband was looking forward to this. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I'll bet. Yeah. Now, is this is your first to to start youth football? Yes. Okay. He flat back. As soon as the whistle blows, what are you doing? How many steps? At least two steps. How many steps? Two. Two steps into it. Two steps into it. Toes and heels out. Wide base. Let's go. Let's go. Fire into him. Toes and heels out. Set. Go. That was better except you stood up and you still waited. One more time. Come on, guys. We're trying to make a little bit of contact here. You want heels out. Set. Go. There you go. That was better. That time you stayed low, you still popped up too soon. Look at the stance, guys. Who's going to Who's the target? Who's going to fight back? Who's gonna win if they fire out in the same position? Set. He's already catching. It's pretty hand inside.